Hi there everyone, my name is Danelle Boyd. And my name is Frank Nieuwenhuis. And we are photographers and filmmakers living in Iceland. And currently we're actually working on a documentary in Iceland about the glaciers and climate change. And this documentary brings us to a lot of really rugged and intense places where we need to hike and camp. And based on our experiences, we put together a few videos that will help you plan, prepare and pack for your adventure in Iceland. It's good to be really prepared for your hiking trip in Iceland because, for example, the weather can change any minute. Um, it could be a hot and sunny day, but then uh, a couple of hours later, it could be freezing cold. They have a saying here in Iceland that you never change your plans, you just change your clothing. So that's one of the things that you really want to consider before you go out into the wilderness here and before you go out on the hike. Even though it might look sunny when you start the hike, that could change without warning really and it's essential to have a couple different layers of clothing that you can put on and take off as the weather does change and it's important to have a shell an outer layer uh, an insulating layer and uh, any other types of clothing that you can change into during your hike as you warm up and as the weather changes hiking and camping in iceland it's always recommended to stay at a designated campsite one, because it's actually a lot safer. You'll get to be in contact with a warden and they have all the facilities at the campsites. So you have everything that you need at the campsites throughout Iceland and there's many of them all throughout the different locations in the entire country. Here we're in a specific campsite called Husadalur in Thorsmork and the name of the campsite is Volcano Huts. In Iceland, they have a very good bus system for hikers, and you can use this bus system to get to the different trailheads. So it brings you to the different campsites, and you can then begin your hike from there. Otherwise, you can also take a, a Land Rover Defender and cross all of the rivers. Because of the location, I would not recommend coming here in a normal 4x4 car, so it's, it's actually quite a difficult location to get to if you don't have a, a super jeep like this. And a lot of these rivers are very dangerous to cross if you don't have the expertise and you don't have the proper vehicle. Even though in Iceland there is very good cell phone coverage, it is still possible to get lost here. So make sure that you have a bunch of alternatives for uh, safety. For example, bringing a GPS with you. You can have a GPS watch or a small GPS tracker to make sure that you can find your way back. A lot of these hikes are very well marked, but it's always important to check in with the warden to let them know that you are actually going out on the hike. So if you're going on a longer hike, especially like uh, this is the start or finish of one of the most popular hikes in Iceland called the Lögevegur. And this hike is a 55 kilometer hike between here and a place called Landmannalaugur. And it has several different huts along the ways. So before you go to the next hut, check in and let them know that you are going to the next hut so that they know when you arrive, you can check in and you're safely arrived at that location. If you really don't know where you are and you don't really know how to get in contact with anybody, if there's not any phone signal, you can use the SOS functionality on one of these Garmin GPSs and ping your location. Here in Iceland, they have a very good search and rescue team. It's a volunteer search and rescue team. It's called Borgenesvet. And this search and rescue team is uh, always on the lookout for people that are missing if you haven't checked into your hut on the hiking trails or you haven't checked in after you've told them that you're going to be out on a hike you can uh, expect that they will come and search for you. You can also let your friends and family know when you're going on a multi-day hike and tell them when you're expecting to be back and if you tell them where sort of you're going to be then it's going to be a lot easier for search and rescue teams to come and find you. In the next video, we are going to show you what's in our backpacks and what we recommend taking with you on your hiking trip in Iceland. Mm -hmm.